There's a lot of fan excitement surrounding Batman appearing in the upcoming Aquaman sequel, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Well, I got some news because last night they did some test screenings and several details have found their way to social media that seem to indicate a particular Batman does not actually appear in this film. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the story and what's being reported in multiple outlets. Now, before we dive into this, I want to make it really clear. This isn't from James or anybody at Warner Brothers Discovery or the DCU. So, these are the kind of things that we take with a grain of salt. Now, last night, reports started coming in that there was another test screening of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. And several reporters seemed to indicate that one of the characters we expected to see does not appear. According to multiple scoopers and sources online, this most recent cut of the movie the one that was screened, apparently did not include an appearance from Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne. Now, Batfleck was heavily rumored to return for this James Wan sequel. And to be fair, Jason Momoa actually confirmed his Justice League co-star's involvement in an Instagram post earlier this year. These pictures were taken on set, and it totally suggests that Affleck did shoot scenes for the film. But it appears, for whatever reason, that the leadership at Warner Brothers Discovery made the move to remove the character from this version of the movie. Now, I guess to be fair, this isn't entirely surprising. With both Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton's take on the Dark Knight being included in this film, I'm pretty sure studio execs were probably pretty concerned this could cause mass confusion for audiences. This also does indicate to me there still is some indecision behind the scenes. As many of you know, James Gunn and Peter Safran are working on that DC 10-year plan. And obviously Batman is going to be at the middle of that. Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Zasloff has made it really clear. Future DC movies are going to focus on that trinity of characters. And they may have decided to pull the Batman appearance altogether in order to get their plan in place and not create any confusion with fans on who Batman is moving forward. With so many versions of Batman in the DCU right now, Affleck, Keaton, and Pattinson, you can see where this could be a problem, and maybe not appearing at all is a solution. Now, with that said, I noticed in this report, nobody confirmed Keaton being in the film, so I am wondering if they pulled Batman in his entirety from this project. That's probably the safest move, and with James Gunn taking over right now and able to impact the finished product minimally, that may be the decision they ultimately made. Now, obviously, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is going to be a lot of fun next year, and it hits theaters next December. We're going to keep a close eye on this. The movie still has plenty of time for more test screenings, re-editing, and if all this footage is in the bag, they can make an adjustment anytime they want. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you want to get all of your Atlantean updates. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How do you feel about Ben Affleck not appearing in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom? And do you think it's in the best interest of the DCU not to solidify who the Batman is until their plan is in place? I have to say, I totally do. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.